Hi, my name is Tim Wilson. I'm going to see how quickly and succinctly I can kind of give a very basic explanation of how web analytics tagging and tracking actually works. Really just going to do it with a couple of diagrams and it's really the same diagram that I'll repeat twice. So hopefully you enjoy the next couple of minutes. So if you have a web page, and let's just say it's coolanalytics.com slash index.htm. On that web page, you can drop a page tag. It's JavaScript. JavaScript is able to do some kind of dynamic things. It's kind of smart. It's kind of a mini coding language. It can, it can read information. It can do things. So when a visitor comes to your page, the JavaScript uh, detects, uh, hey, what page is this? It's, it's coolanalytics.com slash index.htm. It may detect what's the title tag. It may detect whether or not the visitor has been on the site before by reading a cookie. It may look at something like the visitor's screen resolution. It may look at what was the referring site uh, that sent the, because the browser passes that information along. Where did you come from? Did you click on a link to get here? Lots of other things. It's really a long list of what it can collect. So it collects all of that and it kind of packages it all up into, into one big long string of text and takes that once it's packaged it up and it sends it out to a web analytics server. And it doesn't really matter what tool it is. It can be Yahoo Web Analytics. It can be Google Analytics. It could be Web Trends. It could be Core Metrics. It could be Adobe Site Catalyst. It's packaging that up and it's sending that information, that data, out to that server where it gets put in this big database. Once it's in a big database, glorious analysis ensues. Make sense? That's really all there is to it. Well, let me drill down just a little bit on the where the visitor came from. So just on its own, the page tag can pick up a few things and try to detect what site did you come from. But what if you're actually controlling uh, where, where you're sending people to the site? You're, you're sending a, a link in an email to your site. You're running, a, you've got a banner ad. You're running something on, an, on a partner's website. Well, if you can control what link is sending to that page, you can stick a added parameter on the end of the URL. Notice we just added a question mark and we've put this, it's called a key value pair. A CMP is the key and my awesome campaign is the value. Now the specific syntax varies based on the tool and how you've configured it. But what happens is the web page reads that and says I have no idea what that is so I'm just going to deliver this plain old index.htm. Basically most websites are just going to ignore parameters that they don't understand. But you've got that JavaScript, remember, running on the page. So a visitor arrives on the page. Again, the JavaScript detects the same information, but it's smart enough to say, wait a minute, I recognize that CMP equals value, or whatever the value is for that tool. So this is telling me that I know what campaign or what specific activity drove this person to the site. So when I package all this information up, I'm going to include that as well. And I'm going to tell the web analytics server, this is the campaign that sent this visitor to the site. So once again, glorious analysis ensues. That's really all there is to it. There's a lot of power in a pretty simple concept. So if you have questions, I actually a while back wrote a pretty lengthy blog post that goes into a lot more detail. And this bit.ly link, uh, bit.ly slash WA works, which is short for how web analytics works, will point you to it. That's on GilliganOnData.com. You can send me an email there and I'll respond as promptly as I can and try to help you out. Or you can find me on Twitter. Thanks for listening.